When you are building a chatbot, it is good to understand what natural language processing is and how it works. So natural language processing, or as we refer to it as NLP, is the ability of a computer program to understand human language as it is spoken. To explain how NLP works, we'll analyze the whole process by using these two Q&As as an example. So let's imagine we have one Q&A that allows the user to ask for the address with two possible questions. What is your address and where are you located? And the answer for that should be Fourteen Oak Park Drive, Bedford, etc., etc. And then the second set of Q&A should be for phone. So the user should be able to ask something like, what phone can I reach you on? Or what is your telephone number? And the chatbot should respond with plus one, seven, eight, one, two, eight, zero, four thousand. So let's have a look at how this whole process works. So the first thing that NLP does is take each of those expressions and tokenize it. So by tokenizing, what we mean is taking the sentence and then splitting it into individual words or even punctuations. And this expression is basically divided into five tokens. So let's take our expressions and turn them into tokens. So the address Q&A will have those tokens and the phone Q&A will have those tokens. So far, so good. Next step, we have to highlight the tokens that are in common within each Q&A. So if you look on the left, the two tokens that we have in common are the question mark. If you look on the right, we have more tokens in common. So we have what and phone and a question mark on both of those expressions. And basically highlighted tokens are the tokens that are of a bigger value. If somebody asks a question that includes word what and phone, then automatically NLP will know that those are really important words and it is more likely that we are asking about phone than anything else. While words like reach or number are still important to the phone Q&A, but they are not as important as what and phone. Then we can represent those tokens as set of tokens. So now imagine on the left we have the address set of tokens, on the right we have the phone set of tokens. And the next step of this process is identifying words and tokens that are colliding between the two sets. So by looking at these two sets, we can identify the following collision. We have what is your you and a question mark in both of the sets. So if we bring those two sets together, we should get something like that. On the left hand side, we have tokens for the address where where are address and located are specific to address Q&A only. On the right hand side, we have phone can I reach number and on tokens, which are specific to the phone Q&A only. While what is you and your and a question mark are tokens that are in common between the two sets. So technically, if I use any of those words, NLP might be linking that expression to both of the Q and A. So what we do with those tokens that are in common, we basically treat them as matches, but penalized. So we basically apply a lower score for this type of matches. So once we created this model, we can use it to match it to various expressions. So for example, if the user said something like, where is your office located? We should be able to identify the tokens that match this expression. So in here, you will see we have where is your located and a question mark, which basically means that we match five tokens to the address Q&A, of which three are penalized because those are the three that are in common. And we match three to the phone Q&A, but all of them are penalized. So you could pretty much guess that the address one is the Q&A that will win this battle. If we try another expression like what are your phone number, and don't mind the grammar, the mistake here is on purpose, we should be able to again use the model to match each of those tokens. So basically we matched R, what, your question mark, phone and number. And if we analyze that, that means the address Q&A has four matches of which three are penalized. So those are the three in red. While the phone Q&A has five matches, what, your question mark, phone and number of which we have three penalized matches and one bonus match for the highlighted, the really strong token, and one regular for number. And obviously the phone Q&A is the one that is going to win this battle. But NLP doesn't just choose the most probable expression that matches to what the user is saying. It actually provides us also with a confidence level, 
right? So if we look at the model and what was matched, we'll look at number of matches, then we'll take into consideration bonus for highlighted tokens. We'll also take into consideration the penalty for the collision tokens, so those that were in common between the two sets. And then finally, we also look at the total number of tokens that were provided. And if we take all of this information and drop it into the NLP calculator, as a result, we'll get a confidence score. And if that score is above 65%, so when I ask, where is your office located? The chatbot will respond with an answer. If the confidence level is below 65%, then the chatbot will respond with something like, sorry, I don't know that. And in a nutshell, this is how NLP works, and this is how chatbots know what you're trying to say and what to tell you in response.